Hey, it's your boy Cowboy, man, tapping in with Hot Thoughts TV, man. Finna do a personal interview, man. It's going down, smoking B, representing the motherfucking H time, going down Hot Thoughts TV, ghetto. About to smoke a perso sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV, niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a perso sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. So, what's going down? Oh, man, it's all good, man. Thugger, man. Hot Thoughts TV, man, that motherfucker, man, Cowboy. Man, man, ain't killing home game. No time it is, man. R.I.P. George Floyd. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. My nigga Gutter. Hey, Rock, all the rest. You know, too many names. It's going down, man. We here, man. Hot thoughts. <clears throat> so, for the people that don't know, a little bit more about you. Like you say, uh, CUNY Homes raised. <clears throat> Talk a little bit about the community you was raised in and what it was, how it shaped you growing up. Uh, shit, if you from Houston, you gotta know how CUNY Homes. Oh, 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 you know, it, it, it's, it's the no-fly zone, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? No third ward period right now, no, really right now, no-fly zone, man. You got more folks than you want to come out there. Not saying like it's bad in the hood in the world, but, you know what I'm saying, because it's ghettos all around, but right now in Houston, like, third ward is the worst. I'm saying, you said the worst right now. <clears throat> oh, how it shaped me, shit. Made me who I am. I said things you go through in life make you who you are, so I don't regret nothing, you know what I'm saying? I've been through hell. I been through hell growing up. I'm talking about I'm a real ratchet baby, like for real, real project baby. Oh Kodak, I was a project baby. I'm talking about, but uh, yeah man, like I say man, just make you who you is, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, Trina Home, I am Trina Home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like I can't explain. If you wanna know what Trina Home is, just look at Cal You know what I'm yeah. saying? <clears throat> and uh you said that Third world is like a no fly zone right now. So for the outsiders, the people that don't know nothing about the city, is third ward, would that be considered one big hood or is it a bunch of little hoods inside of the <coughs> uh, area? Third ward is a real community. Like it's a, it's not a made up community. It's a real uh, on a map neighborhood. You look on a map, you're gonna see third ward, fifth ward, fourth ward, the wards, and say you know the the history of Houston. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, the, the original black neighborhood with fourth ward and third ward with the mass patient for uh Fourth Wall, Freeman's Town, Fifth Wall with Boat Town, Acres Home with the Black Cowboys, Sunnyside with the Black Wall Veterans, you know what I'm saying? Like, them, them is traditional, you know what I'm saying, or historical, you know what I'm saying, or areas, you know what I'm saying, or Jack Gates, the most predominant, or predominant high school in Texas, or really, or um, Texas Southern University, the most predominant black or college you know, in Texas. Uh, University of Houston, one of the most predominant um, colleges in Houston. All that sit around the projects. All three of them school, TSU, Yates, and um, um, U of H, sit right around the county home. So the project right in the middle. This is the biggest project in Houston. And it's, it's, uh, and all, all these schools surround it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, and it was built in 1942. So being a, a part of that community, when you got all these schools, as well as like, you know, so much other shit taking place around you, what were you into during your young days? Like during school, were you focused in school? Was you into other shit? Man, I was smart than the motherfucker. I was stupid smart. I was the smartest kid in school. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't have no school clothes. You know what I'm saying? No mom was smoking, daddy was in Penitentiary, regular ghetto store. Shit, um, I just started getting high in the air. I started really grinding to make sure my brother had school clothes. And I was real small. But it was like, I just, I'm the big brother, so you know, I feel like that was part of me. But, like, you know, not to sound gangster, but I jumped off the porch, like, down there, love me as old, something like that. <clears throat> so my first rock, um, going to the label pool, we was young, selling rocks, selling Zulus first. You know what I'm saying? They selling Zulus, and they nigga like what Zulus is. That's when you take the candle wax and cook it up in the skillet. My partner, let up, we let always do it. Take the, take his mama, or Christmas candles, put it in the skillet. Cook that motherfucker down, squeeze the orange gel in there. From the dope thing, put it in their mouth and make their mouth numb. You know what I'm saying? Think it's real dope. And when you serve them, you gotta take off running. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dope thing go around the corner, hit that wax, they mad at the motherfucker. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I come from all that. So that first moment, where, like you said, you jump off the porch, you start, you know, hustling and doing what you had to do. That first instance, let's say you did your, you know, your first thing. What was that feeling? Was it a rush? Were you kind of <clears> nervous <throat> going into it? Or is it like, shit, I'm gonna do what it do? Really, I don't, I, thinking back on now, I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. I was, I was just trying to get some money. I was, you know what I'm saying, I was shit, I was starving. We was going to the store, stealing, holding the door open while the other one, while my brother grabbed the canned goods. 
Grab the canned goods and some noodles and shit. We holding the door. Sunny grind just we eat, eat tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just about survival. <clears throat> it wasn't even about the money <clears throat> back then with me. It was like about survival. Man, my brother like said, you know, we moved to fifth ward. You know, so after that we were like twelve. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, also third ward. We used to walk every day to third or to walk every day to Black Shin Ryan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to, to middle school and elementary and third ward. Cause we like we ain't going to school in fifth ward. We had Southside Fades, you know what I'm saying? I'm super soft, super soft, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, I got a lot of love in Fifth Ward. But it's like, <clears throat> it's just, I don't know, I'm just I'm just a product of my environment. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, see, when you put in certain situations, it's gonna, like I say, make or break, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm, I'm gonna keep on referring back to things you go through make you who you are, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I say, uh, I'm a survivor. Like, like, like I say, like some people raise up love, some people raise up survival. I'm saying, I'm my way to survival. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? It was all about our, our whole family. You know, like, all I me and my, all my cousins, we just <clears throat> do whatever. We just go clicking that night. Clicking is when a nigga go. 15, 20 kids from Kern Home walking down the street, see some TSU students, and uh, they'll send me out there and be like, ask them what time it is. And we look down and say, well, tell them what time it is. I hit them, bam. Then make them chase me inside the Kern Home. We go in the Kern Home. It's supposed to be 30 niggas waiting around the corner. You know what I'm saying? Ripping my eyes, mm -hmm. clothes and shit. And it been times where we done Peter Roll with a nigga back when we was young. And, and we was we went to the block and started chilling. 15, 20 minutes later, we see the nigga running back through the alley because he didn't know he was ready to go. Yeah. And then he didn't know it was so, it came on so big. And then they had just to put the gates up. <clears throat> it could be confusing how he get out of there. You know what I'm saying?